Hello everybody, we are back with some more Terraria action, and as you can see, this is not exactly Terraria as we've been doing it so far. So this is going to be, I'm super excited, this is going to be the modded playthrough of Terraria 1.3.5. And as you can see, there's the T-Mod loader version down there. It's not quite updated to 1.4 yet, but that's alright. Okay, so I will go ahead and run you guys through the mods I'm using. Um, I might add a few more, actually. I just thought of some. But I'll just run you through the ones I have right now. So, And I'll put these all in the, in the description as well, in case you guys are curious. But, I need to change this. And, okay, so we got block swap, like 1.4. Both evils, the level to mod, which is kind of like it adds a little bit of role play into it, not really too much, but basically monsters just give you XP and, and you can unlock cool abilities with it. Mod helper is just kind of nice, just kind of shows you which mod, every, what mod everything does. It's just a quality of life thing. Boss checklist gives you a nice progression count. Recipe browser it shows you the recipes without having to go to the guide. Thorium mod is a huge content mod. Item stats just kind of shows everything. Um, shows all the stats in detail. Skyblock mod kind of adds some new recipes. Um, helps with the thorium and that guy. Reforge armor allows you to get prefixes on your armor. Um, I just think that makes sense and the game because you know why not be able to reforge armor if you can reforge weapons and accessories it makes sense to me and then we have land simple health bar which just gives our player a health bar so we can tell how much health we have sell so slot it just gives us a permanent slot where we can sell things on the fly weapon out light shows our weapon uh fishing crate additions just add some items to fishing crates to make them better uh, fishing 2.0 just add some things and some items to fishing mountain magic mirrors is kind of like the pylon system in 1.4 basically you can just find these are throughout the world and then you can teleport to them um, just kind of like waypoints no angler timer is what it sounds like you don't have to wait a whole day to do more quests you can do as many as you want um, just to kind of speed things along in the fishing department. Calamity rare recipes just adds some recipes for the super rare items. Full health respawn. What it sounds like. This mod just kind of combines some items that Thorium and Calamity both tried to combine. Uh, where's my items is great. You can just search in a little search bar for where your items are at in your world. Uh, Begone Evil disables the biome spread. This is some important thing for mods, I don't know what it does. This adds a bunch of recipes into the game, so you can craft things without having to grind quite as much. Omni Swing makes everything auto swing or auto fire, I think that's just helps my hand not to hurt. Starter Classes gives you kind of just like a head start, gives you a bit of a, a ramp at the very beginning to add some things. Um, you'll see what that's like. Shorter respawn time just makes you respawn faster after you die, which I will definitely be dying a lot. Smart doors makes the doors open automatically like it does in 1.4. Which mod is this from shows which mod it's from. Boss cursor will show you where the boss is when it's off your screen. Wing slot adds a designated accessory slot for just wings. Both boss health bar, vein miner allows you to mine whole veins of ore with one click. I do want Alchemist NPC, another huge content mod. Max stack plus extra allows stacks to go a lot higher. Anti-social will allow accessories in the social slots to actually have their effects. I know this is a little bit like, I don't think it's game breaking. It definitely makes the game easier because you have that many more accessory slots, but I feel like with Thorium, Alchemist NPC, and Calamity, we are gonna have a lot of accessories I don't want to have to choose from just just a few, so I think that'll help us be able to use it more. A bigger variety, I'll try not to use 
too many like just crazy OP stuff. But uh, Fargo's banner boost is basically a permanent banner buff. So you know how you when you kill 50 of any every 50 of any enemy, you get uh, you get a banner in your inventory, and then when you hang that up. You, nearby the banner you get the buff but this makes it just so you don't have to put a banner down it just kind of always happens which is really nice um, and then calamity mod of course why else all right so I'm gonna reload this guy really fast and then we're gonna jump into it so I'm super excited for this modded playthrough I haven't played modded in a long time um, I still, I'm still pretty into the game after finishing the last Let's Play, so I kind of wanted to keep, to keep going along with it, seeing if we can't uh, have some more good old times. But yeah, having Calamity and Thorium will really uh, open up, open up the options for the builds and damage types and that kind of stuff. So let's get rid of this guy. All right, we're gonna make a new player. We are going to randomize it until we get one we like. Oh yeah, that guy looks clean. Make him a guy, so it's more realistic. So these are some part of the level to mod settings, um, but I'm not gonna change any of these because this is all just default. Character's name is gonna be, of course, GT Rosie. And then we are going to start a new world. We're gonna do a medium, expert mode, random. And we're gonna name it GT Rosie's World. All right, all right. Well, let's just jump right into this sucker, shall we? All right. So here's our world. Go ahead and favorite it, and let's jump in. We got Crimson. And I think the I think I had a mod that made it both evils. Anyway, so I know there's a lot going on in my inventory already. I'll go ahead and run you guys through it. So. To start off, we have, ooh, what is this? Oh, it kind of just shows you some random things. All right, anyway, so this is a starter bag from Calamity. So this will just contain a bunch of miscellaneous starter items to kind of help you through the very beginning of the game. Um, this is gonna activate a even harder version um, it says your life regen curls with your scales with your current HP. The higher your HP, the lower your life regen. Okay. I guess that makes sense. We're gonna do revengeance. Um, this is just a starting thing from Thorium. It allows you to craft something later on in the game. This bad boy is very important. Let's go ahead. This little slime around here. So you can see that little blue text. There we go. A little blue text, 4p, 6p. Um, that's the level mod. That's us getting XP. Uh, this is fertilizer. It'll, it grows stuff right away. But anyway, this anti buff mode. During anti buff mode, you are immune to all buffs. So you can't have like potions. You can't do like the buff stations. Any of that stuff, you can't, you're unable to activate those things. But, boff, <laughs> boffs, <laughs> bosses and mini bosses may drop permanent boosting items. Their effects work when this is on. So, as soon as we're ready to kill a boss, you're gonna turn that guy on because it is very, very strong. And it gives you permanent, basically gives you permanent buffs. So you don't have to consume potions constantly, which is super nice. All right, before we get into the leveled mod, I'll run you guys through that quickly. But before we get into there, let's go through the starter bags. So, starter bag. Put down this guy. And it will play. As you can tell, it'll play the awesome Calamity music. And I think the Calamity music is sick, so I like to use it. This is a King Slime summon, some basic potions. Um, I don't like these guys really. Um, I don't really worry about those. Got some potions to start off, some torches, a couple of chests, a very bad squirrel staff. Um, 
yeah, and just some just some helpful potions to get us at the, through the very beginning of the game. A nice staff, a bow, just some stuff to, to help out. So we're gonna get rid of that stuff. Here's our little cell slot, and our wing slot is over here. And then this other starter bag is the, is the is the big one here. Hey, hey, get out of here. Mythical Tome of Order. Holy! What the? Oh! Yo, I've never seen this before. That's so good. Oh, it's fixed. <gasps> All right. Well, that's insane. Okay, and it's mythical, so GG. Holy! Anyway. These are all the starter bags you can make. These are the thorium ones, the calamity ones, and then some base ones. Um, but I've already gone through and figured out the best one I like. It's the rogue bag. Because it has this lovely gilded dagger in it. And this bad boy is insane. It does a lot of damage. It's auto swing, so it's very easy to use. And then it also has this guy. Whenever you crit an enemy with a rogue weapon, your rogue damage increases. So you can stack up to 150 times, and the max rogue boost is 15%. So as far as I'm concerned, I think that this just stacks permanently um, every time we crit. And the crit chance on this is only four, so we're not gonna we're not gonna be critting too often. But yeah, that is the let's go ahead and favorite that junk. That is the starter bag stuff, so as you can see, it just gives us a bit of a baseline to work with. Um, it's nothing crazy OP, it's just some, a couple weapons and tools and some potions to, to get us going in the beginning of the game. So now, let's go ahead and favorite that. I guess we can summon the squirrels. That's what we do to them. So we're actually going to get rid of it. So now we can get into the level mod. So these three little tabs down here <coughs> are have to do with the leveled mod which gives us that, this little XP blue text here. So, starting with my attributes. Health, mana, you know, that's lined up with this stuff. Um, so, health. Um, strength is melee damage. Intelligence is magic damage. Dexterity is ranged. Agility is throwing slash rogue. Resistance is defense and armor. And spirit is uh, summon weapons damage. So this shows you how much XP you have total. And this shows you how much you need for your next level. So this is kind of an overview of your your uh, total experience and your total stats. Super easy to work with. <clears throat> so then we have abilities. And these are a bunch of ability slots that you unlock at the Power Flower. So here's an overview again of your stats, how much you have. Obviously we don't have any, we don't have any AP right now because... AP is uh, something. I don't remember exactly. But I know that to unlock the enemy health bars, you have to put a certain amount into. I think it's the intelligence one. Um, yeah. So I have 17 skill points right now to spend. And so you can see. Each of these out of eight right now so up to eight to increase it to level two so i'm going to do this up to eight and i will do um wait a sec maybe that's not right maybe it's an enhancement Aptitude. I don't. I'm trying to find. There's an ability for <clears throat> that unlock. <coughs> oh my gosh, that unlocks the ability to see the enemy's health bars, which is very nice. Um, I definitely want that. So I want to look that up really fast. Okay, so it says combined level 10 ability scan so I guess it doesn't really matter at the current moment um, so we're just gonna put our we're just gonna put our skill points probably into fortitude um, let's get 
going to increase our defensive capabilities. So there we go. And now over in the abilities section, or bonuses, also in abilities, um, it'll show you those things that you're getting from what you put in the flower power, or power flower. So now, um, we have some more options. So we have 10 more skill points. I could do another one for fortitude, but I'm probably going to put some into um, aptitude, which is already level 2. Let's just put 10 more into there. So there we go. So now abilities. Power throw, or uh, thrown damage increased by 4%. So the way that these work is that you have AP, which I don't really know what that stands for. Um, action points, maybe. But you can spend up to as many as you want on your abilities. Um, and it's just a toggle. So see, it takes two AP, so now I'm down to one out of three. But if you want to change it later, you can always take it off and you're back to full. So you can always exchange that, no problem. And I think that's about all there is um so basically just as you go you get xp from monsters and with that you can spend it on various things so yeah that's kind of the gist of the level mod um it's not actually as complicated as it looks um but we'll we'll use it more as a passive passive damage bonuses and those kind of things um but right now we need to just find some stuff, maybe get some wood, probably couldn't hurt. Um, I like this dagger also because it gives off light, which is nice. Um, very fallen star, nice. Very cool. We got down here, chest, that's cool. Looks like this goes all the way through, nice, 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 nice. I like this so far. I like this world so far. I liked our spawn. I like this little cave entrance. I think it's, I think it's going well. I think this is a cool world. Ooh, look at that. Big level up. Big level up. Yeah, this rogue weapon is, is very strong. Um, it's super nice to have it this early on. I don't actually know how you get it normally, but... I assume it's not super far into the game, otherwise it wouldn't be in a starter bag. There's another lovely chest. Get out of here, big old yellow slime. So yeah, I can't see health bars quite yet. Um, I need to get to level 10, I think, is what that was saying. Um, let's get some stone, maybe we can make a, a furnace. Couldn't hurt. Uh, there's so much copper. I don't really need copper, considering all my tools are already iron. So here's vein miner in action. So I hold my button, and it mines the whole vein. Super quick. So, super nice to have. Easy, quick ores. Uh, yeah. That's just a nice little... Oh no, I'm out of torches. I don't have any wood. <coughs> Sorry, my throat's a little sore today, I guess. I'll get some stone. And we can get back to the surface probably sometime soon to get some wood. So you probably already noticed, but the uh, the music for the Calamity mod only plays when you're when I'm close to the actual music box, so it's no longer playing because I'm far away now. Um, let's see, it down. Jellyfish, I suppose. Could drop me a cool thing, but he didn't because he's mean. So the underground is level 9, and I'm only level 5, so it's a bit dangerous for me to be here. But I don't really care. Because I'm a man who doesn't care about dying. I've already accepted the fact that I'm probably gonna die a bunch in this series, so. So that I have already dealt with in my own head, 
So, let's go back and get that lead. I think we could use that. Um, use our rope. I have some torches now that I can use. Get some rope up here so I can climb back up. And let's go back to the surface. I think that would be a good idea. Uh, I can't make that. Gotta rope it up. Early game, you gotta love. You gotta love the rope usage. Alright, I do have a level up, so. Let's go ahead and put as many as we can into that. So there we go. Leak gilded dagger, so these these babies fly nice. So you also do get a little bit of XP for mining the pre hardwood ores, which you don't actually get if you use vein miner. So I should probably not use vein miner for the first little while, um, just because you know I wouldn't get any XP. Keep grinding out here. Right now we're just trying to make it. Like I was moving. Alright, we're just trying to make it up through the night. I really should have destroyed that. Hey, another level up. Let's go. Die, demon eye. Yeah, the uh, the night monsters give quite a bit of XP. Which is a nice thing. And it looks like it might be daytime? Nope, 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 nope. Definitely not. Shays off of things, which is super sick. It's a good weapon. Okay, so I hit some crits there. Nice, okay. So it's crit level 5, so let's keep an eye out for any more crits that I hit. Because if that goes up by 1 every time I hit a crit in general. Another thing I should explain is the uh, IMK Sushi stuff that you're probably wondering what the heck is that item that you can get from every monster. So there's another crit. Nice. Okay, so it does go up. So the IMK Sushi mod adds these lovely tokens. And with these tokens, you can craft. Let's open our fantastic recipe browser. With these tokens, you can craft items related to when in the game's progression you get said tokens. So with these pre pre I surface forest tokens. So these are tokens you get before you defeat the Eye of Cthulhu. You can craft things like the Aglet, Boomerang, Climbing Claws, uh, Radar, those kind of things. And then with the pre boss loot token, this is before the Dryad arrives. So I guess it's kind of the same but it's just more generic. So, Slime Staff, Money Trough, obviously you need a lot to craft that stuff, but... Depth Meter, you know, all the good early game accessories and such. Um, but yeah, we're chilling right now. We're doing, uh, we're doing well, we haven't taken really any damage. We haven't even died, haven't come close to dying. Um... Our dagger's getting its damage increased consistently because of the... Out of your biter. Because of the uh, raider's talisman. Or should it say... Oh, I guess it's 1.1% per, per stack. So it's 0.1% damage per little stack that I have there. So I'm now level 7. Very nice. So let's get this up to that. New hidden. Here we go. So once I get this guy up, 
nice. So, once I get this guy up to the next level, I'll be able to use this. It shows health bars below entities when attacking enemies. Or when attacking enemies. So let's just get that as high as we can. Apply that. Go to our abilities. Oh, we can already spend it. Nice. Sick. Let's go. So yeah. So now we can see... Um, we can see the enemy health bars. Which is very nice. Oh, we're already into the... Already into the snow biome. Sweet. Sweet, 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 sweet. Let's get some boreal wood. Shall we make some some boreal armor? Well, there's the corruption. I don't really know if I want to vibe over there yet. It's a wolf guy from the calamity island. Yay! Level eight. Yeah, nice. So wolf from metal scraps. So you can also make some pretty cool stuff with. Um, Calamity mod really is a fantastic mod. Huge shout out to those guys and girls working on that mod. It's truly, truly a revolutionary ad addition to the game. Uh, I think it's super cool. So good work for you guys. Keep it up. I love the consistent updates as well. There's a good chunk of lead down here. Let me go ahead and mine this up. <coughs> Not using vein miner. I can get some more XP out of it. There we go. Yeah, there's some more lead down here. Another sick thing about this little dagger guy is that it has it shoots little it shoots little things, little sparks into the ground, so you can kind of roam around the underneath, underneath, find find some cool stuff. So we actually did manage to see a couple. Nice veins of lead. I'm gonna torch so I can see. We really need to make a furnace. <coughs> we should have enough wood. Or enough stone. We definitely need some more wood though. Alright, we got wood now. We're gonna need to make some more torches. Alright, furnace! Woohoo! We can make our metal bars very nicely. Nine copper, just a couple iron, a bunch of lead. Nice. So let's get the anvil out and about. Alrighty, look at this. Oh man, this crafting menu is huge! There's so much I can make! So much I can make! No, guys. <laughs> this is overwhelming. Oh, that's a sweet-looking chest. Boreal wood chest look like look like the uh, dungeon dungeon chest. That is sweet, my guy. Wow. Oh yeah, the thing about the IMK sushi mod is it adds recipes, so you can like switch around the things like the ore is unique to the world you don't have to stay consistent i think we should make the lovely icy bandana that sounds like a great idea there we go look at my look at my helmet I'm looking sexy all right anyway let's go ahead and smooth this little Let's get some chests out so I can at least try to get it a little bit organized, but I'm just going to chuck it all in one chest for now. Oh, baby, what can we want? A sparky, spear, oh man, it's just too good. And you can change ores too, so I can switch those over if I need to. It's just really handy <coughs> to have that kind of thing. I wish it was in the regular game, but it's okay, because IMK Sushi has us covered. Now, let's keep exploring. I think we should continue to explore our surface here. So hopefully these are suitable houses. Nice. So we're going to put the guide up there.
slap all these guys around. Now we can see their health. Very nice. Alright, Mr. Guide, get in there, big boy. Oh, we got a Eskimo hood and a shackle. Cool. Well, I'm alive, but, uh... Oh, just kidding. I jinxed it completely. I was gonna say I'm alive, but not by much. <clears throat> and then I wasn't alive at all. By any much. So as you can see, that shorter respawn time is nice for us to get back to our stuff. Don't have to wait quite as absurdly long. Hopefully all of our gold isn't completely gone, but it probably is. Yeah, we lost a fair bit. Oh well. Nice and new things. Ooh, nice. Let's get more armor. Ooh, warding shackle. Heck yeah. 11 defense, 1% damage reduction. Mmm. You love to see that. Alright, we can sell. Sell that stuff. One gold for that, jeez. Nice. I love the way that banner looks. That banner looks clean. Alright, fuck net. Yes, please. Um, yeah. Everything else we can click stack away. Get rid of that stuff. Go ahead and turn this on, might as well. So it'll show the active boost once I kill the bosses there. So, speaking of killing the bosses. I mean, I could try taking down the old King Salon. I'd say that'd be a heck of a way to start the series. First episode, King Slime. Let's do it. Let's do it. Why not? All right. YOLO. Let's go. There he is. There's the big guy. Okay, we're staying nice and far away from him. He's teleported up to me. That's fine. I can just go back down. Okay, we're doing good. Doing just fine. Doing just fine. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, we're going this way now, I guess. I'm gonna switch back to going this way. Alright, well, we got him. We're doing damage. Oh, just kidding. Well, that is going to be all for today's episode. I hope you guys are excited about this series as I am. I love modded. Um, I think it's going to be fun. Got a lot of world to explore yet today. Um, and uh, we got some good weapons. So, got some good gear. Managed to snag some armor, some full, like, full accessory loadout. I wear rogue crit level oh it is it oh it probably resets when I die oh that sucks but it makes sense well I hope you guys enjoyed um, yeah be sure to leave a like or subscribe if you guys are turned up for this series because I know I am it's gonna be a fun one guys and I'll see you in the next one